Okay, here's a good question. <clears throat> Resting of iron is represented by this equation right there, or that formula. Uh, it's all balanced correctly, I believe. Yep. And we're starting with 1.76 grams, that's a mass, of iron. And the question is, uh, once all that iron's rusted, how many grams of uh, iron three oxide will there be? So in the river, I'm starting with a solid and I'm ending with a solid because they ask for mass, right? Um, and so I'm, it's going to be three steps. So it'll be one step to convert the grams into moles. It'll be the second step to do a mole ratio. And the third step will be to convert from moles back into grams of iron uh, to iron three oxide. Okay, so let's do the first step. So that's to convert the mass of iron into moles of iron. So to do that, we use this formula. Moles is equal to mass over molar mass. The mass is 1.76. The molar mass of iron, 55.85 grams. This is grams, and that's grams per mole, so the grams cancel. Okay, so let me divide that quick on a calculator. 1.76. Divide 55.85. Whoa, uh -oh, I did that wrong. 1.76 divide 55.85. There we go. 0 0.031512, etc. moles. And that's moles of iron. Okay, so I've done this step here. Now, step number two is to convert from moles of iron into moles of Fe2O3. And to do that, I use a mole ratio. And this is the way it always works, is you write down the number that you just got, you just convert it into moles, and that's moles of iron, and then you multiply it by the mole ratio that you get when you balance the chemical reaction. Now, the thing on the bottom is the moles that you have, and we have moles of iron, so that's a four. So four, four moles of iron, and I get that four right from there. Um, and it, so that's what I'm... Um, uh, given, and then what I'm asked is for uh, iron three oxide, and that's uh, this one. Thanks, Caitlin. And the number there is two, so it'll be two moles of iron three oxide. Okay, so I take the number I have times two equals divided by four equals. So it'll be 0 0.015756, etc. moles, and this is of Fe203. Okay, so I've gone across the river now. So my last step is to convert from moles of Fe203 to grams of Fe203. So third step, go from moles of Fe203 to a mass of Fe203. Okay, so to do that, my formula is moles is equal to mass over molar mass. But this time I'm trying to solve for mass. So I'll multiply both sides by molar mass. Here they'll cancel. And so my formula is mass is equal to molar mass times moles. So the molar mass of, oh, Fe2O3. So I have two uh, Fe's. So that's two of those. And then three oxygens, three times 16 is 48. Okay, so if I add that, that's 10, 17, 19, 15. 159, uh, 70, I think. So 159.70 grams per mole times the moles that I just got from right there. 0.015756-ish. Moles, the moles cancel. So if I multiply those, I get my answer. And I still have that number on my calculator. So now I'm just going to go times 159.70. So I come up with 2.516311, etc. grams of Fe2O3. 
Uh, and then I look for sig figs. Sig figs are 1.76, so it's three sig figs. So I've got to go three sig figs, 2.52 grams. Let's see, yeah, that's the right answer, isn't it? Yeah. All right, hopefully that helps you out as a pattern. It's really helpful to separate things into steps and uh, know how to do each step.